Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Drea as in Designs by Drea. Drea is me. I am the Drea. I am the serial crafter and digitizer at designsbydreaco.etsy.com. That's me. And so we're back as promised for another one of our, I'm gonna say it's famous now, uh, embroider with me Halloween edition another one because guess what it's spooky season and this is not going away anytime soon so I'm super excited such a great time of year once all the holidays start happening I am super happy so what are we working on today we are working on another 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 felty of course we're working on another felty what else will we be doing here we're working on another design that i drew up oh my god again the fact that i drew this and people like it it just blows my mind we're working on this cutie patootie we are doing kitty corn because i don't like actual candy corn but if it looked like this and it was super cute i might actually enjoy it um this is the only way i enjoy candy corn as a kitty I don't like the actual candy. So if you are stopping by and you haven't yet subscribed, I would consider subscribing and liking this videos because there are more videos on the way. And we have a back catalog of Embroider With Me videos as well. So you know what, why not? Don't miss out. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. It's great. Okay, so with that being said, enough chitter chatter and let's get right into the video. All right, guys, it's about to get real corny up in here. Okay, so things that I have set up here. We are working on the brother. I decided to switch it up. We've moved on to the brother machine to stitch this one out. This is a Brother Innovus NQ 1600E. I'm using the itty bitty 4x4 hoop that comes with it to stitch this out. We're going to be making the two and one quarter of an inch felty that you can find in the embroidery set on my Etsy shop. All right, so what I'm going to use for this, for my felty mullet, uh, we have this white glitter felt that I got. This is a felt, guys, and just a plain white acrylic felt that I got at Joanne Hobby Lobby, something like that. This I got from the felt pod. It is actually felt. It is a glitter felt. Uh, it's a specialty felt. So we're going to use that today. We're going to use that for the front, and we're going to use this for the mullet party in the back front back business party business party time to mullet all right so first things first if you have been a viewer of this channel you'll know step one is always our placement stitch it does not matter what color of thread you use because we're not going to see it so whatever is the last thread that was on your machine that's fine we're going to go ahead and use that and step one placement stitch Okay, it is before step two that we are going to place down our business front of our mullet or uh, the top of our sandwich. We also do felty sandwiches here. So sandwiches, mullets, that's what we're hanging out with today. I'm gonna get this, my glitter, which is going to be the top vinyl that we're going to embroider onto. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm going to off camera spray with this 505 temporary spray. I'm gonna spray on to the felt and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on making sure to cover all the placement stitches. At this point, if you would like to hoop, pin, or tape down your felt, this is the time you will do that. At this point in time, if you are not using an incredibly large piece of felt, you can always double check your work by taking the hoop off of your machine. And if you put your felt up towards a light source, you can see through it and you can make sure that in fact, all your placement stitches are in fact covered and you have enough room so that way you're able to cut it out. So you can always do that to double check instead of blindly just placing it down. But you know what? Hey, life's short. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. If you've been around here for a while and you're familiar with my designs, you'll know I love a good cheek. So we're going to go ahead and stitch out some rosy cheeks right now. So step two is a pair of rosy cheeks. Switch out your thread color for your favorite pink for rosy cheeks. Step three on this design is going to be a trio of 
stripes that sit on front of our kitty. So go ahead and use a coordinating color uh, for your stripes. I'm going to be using a silver from Silky. I think it's going to be great for our little kitty cat here today. And just so you know, heads up, if you hear my kids in the background, they're on holiday today, so uh, the ambiance in the background is free of charge. We're on to step number four, which is going to be the pinks of our kitty's ears, or another color if you so choose. I mean, this is your kitty corn. Do what you will. Uh, I chose to use a different pink for mine, so step four will be the inside of kitty's ears. Step five is going to be the orange band on our kitty corn. So go ahead and choose the orange of your choice. I think if you had like a really cute pastel -y color, you could really go like full on like pastel Halloween with this. I wish I did. I would totally do that, but I don't. So I'm going to choose the prettiest orange I have in my collection. And let's get started on step number five. On to step number six, which is going to be the yellow band of our kitty corn. I think if you had a pale yellow, that would be really pretty. So a pale yellow and like a pastel orange kind of color, like I feel like that would be the dream, but you know, a girl can only do so much. So I went ahead and picked out a yellow that I thought looked best with my orange, and I'm headed on to step number six. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Okay, step number seven is going to be some eyebrows, eyes, and a smile. So I'm going to switch out to black at this point and stitch out step number seven. Step number eight is going to be an additional step that I added with a heart. There's going to be a heart right in here. Um, this is going to be something that if you're not totally in love with the heart, you can go ahead and skip over this step and move on to the next one. But I thought it was cute to give her like an extra little embellishment, so to speak. So I'm choosing a really bright pink for my heart. I do want it to stand out. So like I said, step eight is going to be a heart. Step number nine is going to be the whites of the eyes, so we're going to fill in the eyes with a little bit of white. Alright, so at this point, before we start step 11, we're gonna just take our mullet and go for it. We're gonna fully assemble the felty mullet, okay? Our felt mullet, we're gonna freaking go for it. Alright, so here we go. We got the front. Flip it over. We're about to cover this party of a hot mess in the back with that acrylic felt I told you about. So it doesn't matter what felt you use for this. I would use something inexpensive because typically this is not seen whenever you use the final product. So this part doesn't matter. I got my white. I'm going to off camera spray it with some of that 505 spray we talked about. All right. And same concept. I'm going to cover all of the hot mess that's on the back press it flip over give it a extra reassuring press slide it back on to the machine and now we are going to complete our kitty corns outline so run this and we're going to go ahead and sew our felty sandwich or our felty mullet together whichever you prefer uh, we're going to do that for step number 11. just when you think you're done you're not there's one more step we have step 12 so don't take it off your hoop yet because we have one more step we're going to stitch out our whiskers okay i went ahead and switched it up this time with this design i wanted the whiskers to be on the very very top of the design and nothing to stitch over it so we're going rogue we're going for it guys let's go ahead and make sure that we stitch out our whiskers so pick a good whisker color 
Okay guys, I'm going for it. I'm going rogue. I've chosen a purple color for my whiskers. This is someone like me. I would have picked like gray or black, but you know what? I'm going to experiment. I'm going to think outside the box. It's Halloween. I'm going to try something new. And for step 12, our very last and final step, we're going to step out. Step out. Yeah, we're going to step outside the box and we're also going to stitch out our whiskers. Voila! So we finished. See? Here we go. And I like to live so dangerously. Did you see that? I'm like so impressed that it caught the end there. Um, that's why I said, you know, you can always check it. Uh, put it up onto uh, the light near you and make sure that you covered everything. I got it by the skin of my teeth, but uh, you know, like I said, I'm playing dangerously today. I actually really enjoy the fact that I picked out these this purple for these whiskers because I never would have done that. I went for it and I'm really happy with the results. So go ahead and remove this from the hoop, tear away all of your stabilizer. Make sure that you have totally uh, that there's nothing missing here so that way it's ready to cut out cut it out and that's it folks and just like that friends we're done we've went ahead and stitched out our kitty corn mm, so cute she's super adorable yeah 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 oh yeah this is so much fun i had such a blast um things i would note for some folks um when I stitch out on the brother that I have back there, um, I do notice that she does require a little bit more support. So if I were to do this over again or to make anything smaller than the two and a quarter inch, I would definitely use a heavyweight cutaway stabilizer. She does require more support. I'm so used to working with the Janome's um, Old Faithful, like just stitches out so beautifully and I have to put in like minimal effort because she's just a dream for me. So typically I'm used to the memory craft and those ones just stitch out and I don't have to stabilize it much. And um, so I would recommend that. So if I were to do it over again or to make a smaller one on the Brother Machine, I would definitely make sure to have a good foundation in order to stitch this out flawlessly. Okay, but it did come out super cute. So again, I do have this um, glitter felt I got. I got it at the felt pod. Um, the felt pod, you can find her on Etsy or she has her own website, thefeltpod.com. I will link to it down in the description below. This is glitter. I'm also going to experiment because I have made my own glitter felt. Huh? What? No one knew about this. Yes, I made my own glitter felt because glitter felt can be quite expensive and it's kind of like a premium vinyl, so to speak. So it does come at a cost. So I found a more cost effective way to do it, but I've never embroidered on it. I made bows with it. So I'm going to test it out and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about what you can do if, if it's possible, if it's possible to even embroider onto homemade glitter felt. We're going to find out. I'm going to put that on my list of things to do. If you stitch out this design, don't forget to tag me at Bydrea Designs. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I would love to see your work, and I would love to share it with everyone else. So also, if you'd like some free embroidery files, check me out at uh, Drea's Felty Friends Facebook group. I do give a free, a brand new design every month. Every month, okay? And before you know it, we're going to have a new design because before I know it, it always seems like it's a new month and we're already talking about what do we want as a freebie every time. All right, friends. Well, I appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, friends. Bye.